What's up everybody, Jeremy the Average Running Guy here. I'm on my run for my three miles today. And I forgot my GoPro, so I'm recording this on my phone. So hopefully it's not too shaky or this is even usable. But today is a good day. And why is it a good day? Because it's new shoe day, yeah! I'm so excited. I literally just got back from the running store, threw the box down, changed my clothes, put the shoes on, came out here. I'm gonna be meeting Valerie and the kids at the park later, but I'll show you what I bought here in a little bit in this video. But right now, let's go run. I'm only half a mile in. Let's go. Okay, first initial impressions of the Rincon 2s. I really like them. I, uh, I really, really like them. My feet are really comfortable. And, uh, well, you know what? When I get back home, after you put the kids to bed and have dinner and all that, I'm gonna do an initial review to put at the end of this video because this footage is really shaky and I'm not about that. And I forgot my, my GoPro like a dum dum because I was too excited about new shoe day. I wish it was Tuesday because then it'd be new shoe day Tuesday. Ha <laughs> ha. Should that be a segment? I don't think my bank account can handle that. Nor, uh, nor I don't think Valerie would like that. But yeah, uh, I'll do an initial review of these Hoka One One Rincon 2s when I get back home later tonight. So I'm gonna put my phone away, finish my run, and meet up with the family at the park. All right, three miles is done. Three miles, 32.28 is the time at a 10.49 pace. I made it to the park. Jason was pushing me on the merry-go-round. Not anymore. He ran over to the swings. I see where I stand. But yeah, shoes felt really good. More initial thoughts and initial review coming up after this. What? Time at the park. Are you pushing me, dude? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay, bye. Hoka One One Rencon 2. Let's dive into my initial thoughts. Um, three miles in, I really like it. Uh, whatever Hoka did in the midsole here with this nice mesh upper, whatever they did to like lock down your foot in the midsole, I sneaking love. The problem I'm having with my endorph uh, with my Saucony endorphin speeds um, is if I do anything over four to five miles, my feet hate me. But if I do a 5K or something, I love it. Um, so the endorphin speeds are going to become my tempo run and uh, speed workout shoes. And these are going to be my um, long run shoes, if I can think of the right words to say. Um, but initial thoughts, um, I actually do love the color. If I was to gripe about one thing, I'm not a huge fan of the plum thing, plum color going on in here. Uh, that's probably my only thought, uh, my only gripe about the shoe so far. I do like the big pull tab that they put on here. The, the tongue is pretty, pretty thin, which I like. Um, and on my other pair of Hoko's, the Speed Goat 4 Trail Running Shoes, that has an even thinner tongue, which I like even more. But... Yes, I think I'm turning into a Hoka person. Um, these are just comfortable. Um, the other shoe I was looking at at the store is a Saucony Triumph, um, which is a super comfy shoe, but I had this shoe on my left foot. I had the Rencon 2 on my left foot, Triumph on my right foot, and this one just won. I really like that this is a really lightweight shoe. 
Um, the bottom of the shoe is a blown, I don't know if it's blown, it's just like a foam. It's a foam, it's not a rubberized, it's not rubberized at all, it's just a foam. There's already some wear from the three miles I was in um, that I ran today, there's some wear already on here. Not much, just a little scuffs. Um, yeah, super comfortable shoe. The other shoe I was looking at at the store as well, I just remember this, is the Hoka Clifton 7. I really, really wanted to like the Clifton 7, but um, it just didn't agree with my feet. So the thing that got me with the Clifton 7 was, um, let's see if I can do this, um, my arch would sit, I don't know if you can see that, it would kind of sit on top of the rim of the sole, I guess you call it, I don't know, I'm not a shoe expert, who knows these things, um, it would kind of sit on, on, the, on the top of the sole and it was just super uncomfortable, um, but with all the research I had done, the Clifton 7 looked like it was going to be my shoe, um, I'm sure if they had the Mach 4s, if those had been out yet, I may have gotten the Mach 4, I don't know, but the Rincon 2 was on, my, on the radar as well. Like I said, I think I'm turning into a Hoka person because, oh, and these are a five millimeter drop. Um, I think I'm gonna like these as much as I like my uh, Brooks Levitate 2s, which was my first real pair of running shoes. And I think I have like almost 600 miles in those. Oh look, there's a fly in here, awesome. Squirrel, um, I think I have almost 600 miles in those. Those have been retired. Um, they were replaced by the endorphin speeds, but I still wear those shoes a lot. Um, yeah, but trail running shoe, Hoka Speed Goat 4. This is a four millimeter drop. Um, so a little bit, very small, a little bit flatter um, of a difference between the two. Uh, if I was to gripe about the Speed Goat 4 is that this tab has come unglued a little bit. But that's something a little super glue can fix, no problem. This true, this shoe has over 100 miles in it, and besides it being really dirty, the bottom looks like it came right out of the box. This Vibram sole is amazing. Um, this is obviously heavier than the Rincon 2, but um, I've had zero foot problems with over 100 miles on the trails with these shoes. And this is just a comfy, comfy shoe. Both of these shoes are neutral. Um, Hoka has like their, I, I say this is going to be like their, I think it's labeled their balanced shoe when it comes to cushion. And then you have their max cushion, which is like the thickest amount of foam down here, which Hoka is known for. And then your balance, and then like you have like a minimalist kind of thing, which I think what the Mach 4 is. I could be wrong. I'm sure you'll correct me down in the comments. But yes. Like I said before, I think I'm going to be a fan of Hoka's. Um, so where is this going to go now? I think I'm going to do another update once I get about 50 miles in this, 30, 40, 50 miles in these. That'll be a really good break in period and that will give me a good review because if, if this ring on to is anything like this Speed Goat 4, even though this is a trail shoe, this is a road shoe, I know I'm going to love them. I absolutely know it. All right, that's going to do it for me today. We'll see you tomorrow. Day four is tomorrow, and I'm going back to work. We'll see what the day throws at us, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I don't know what this was.